So at some point or another, you're going to be walking into a dealership, whether you're a company driver, an owner operator, or if you are looking to renew your truck as an owner operator, you have experience in buying a truck. So I've compiled a list of the biggest mistake that drivers make when purchasing their truck. Let's get it right. Let's stop making mistakes. Bruh. Mistakes cost money. So listen up in this video, okay? Number one, with the technology that we have out there, you got to do your research. The research phase is very, very important. Before you walk into any dealerships, we all have smartphones at our fingertips. Okay, use it to your advantage. As a benchmark, I would definitely use the Ritchie Brothers auctions. Okay, I do videos on this all the time on the price of the three-year-old model trucks, on the price of trailers. Now you can use this method whether you're buying a truck or a trailer. So you can look at the benchmark at the Ritchie Brothers auction. So if you see a hmm. 2021 that's selling for $45,000, that is your best case scenario. If you're buying a truck from a dealership, you're probably gonna end up spending about $10,000, $15,000 more than what the prices are at the Ritchie Brothers auctions. If I was an owner operator, I would love to buy a truck off of an owner operator and a truck that is currently on the road. I hate parked units. Okay, you never know what you're gonna get. You know, I've heard nightmare stories of people, you know, buying a truck, picking up their truck, all of a sudden they hook onto a trailer and that thing is like a Christmas tree. There's sensors all over the place. And my God, you hate the day that you bought that truck. If I was to do a full video on everything that's in my brain on the right way to purchase a truck, it'll probably be a one hour Bruh. video and I, none of you want to hear me going on and on for an hour. So I actually put together a step-by-step -step guide. It's a detailed guide with probably 10 or 12 points on how to properly purchase a truck and you can save thousands from that guide if you are interested in it click the link below and get to that guide but number two do not just go to one dealership I hate when I see this I see owner operators going to one dealership there's a good-looking sales rep that comes out he's a great talker you know he'll talk you into anything he'll make you believe that he's your best friend markup on that truck is about 25 or thirty thousand dollars posted price on the internet is very different than what is on the truck that ones that don't do the research ends up paying the most for that truck Mal, don't fall in love with a truck i hate when people do this why do you f don't fall in love with the truck make yourself in your mind you need to know the year the model that you want and you need to see a few of those trucks four five six seven eight trucks only then you should be making a decision and make it a business decision without being emotionally attached all right biggest mistake number three is telling that sales rep what you want your monthly payment to be Okay, so a lot of the owner operators, they'll walk into the dealership. I would take a truck like this, but my payments would, be, would need to be around $2,700. Well, I want you to know that, you know, with that information, I can definitely give you, you know, the scenario where you only pay $2,700. I'll ask you for ten dollars or $15,000 up front. I'll tackle on a huge amount of interest rates, and then I'll put a big fat balloon payment at the back. You'll get your $2,700 per month, but it's going to be over the course of 72 months or over the course of 60 months with a $45,000 buyout as your last payment. I mean, you got what you wanted, your $2,700 a month. So don't give off that information. The only information I would give them is I want a 36 months and I want a 48 months. That's it. You know, let them give you options. Option A, option B, option C. And then you can gauge which option is more convenient and comfortable for you. Remember that, you know, the longer the duration, the more money everybody makes on you. Now, biggest mistake number four, okay? I see this all the time again and again over and over. Guys, this is probably one of the most important things that you need to do. You need to take one of these trucks and you gotta hook it on to a loaded trailer make that be one of your conditions for buying the truck i don't care how the dealership does it tell them i want to take the truck i want to hook it onto a loaded trailer i'll pay for the fuel spend 100 bucks on the fuel and go ride around with a loaded trailer for an hour or two hours and that's going to give you a clear indication on how good that truck is why loaded trailer you want to see that thing in action the fact that it can drive without a trailer without hauling you know, uh, 40,000, 45,000 pounds plus the weight of the trailer. Yeah, you can drive, it feels great, but you really need to feel it under pressure. Tell all my owner operators that you gotta load a truck and hook it onto a loaded trailer. It's a big mistake. All right, biggest mistake number five. Nobody looks at engine hours and I don't know why. Okay, I can have two identical trucks. This one can be a 2021 and that one can be a 2021. This over here can have 18,000 engine hours on it and that one over there with the battery pack apu unit can have 10,000 engine hours there's a huge difference between a truck that has 18,000 hours versus a truck that has 10,000 hours now both of the trucks 
have 600,000 miles or 400,000 miles. Engine hours are very, very important with your decision. I would much rather pay an extra $5,000 for a truck that has 10,000 hours versus a truck that has 18 or 16,000 hours. There's a big difference between the two. Last but not least, guys, I'm gonna talk about quitting your job before plating one of these trucks. So the whole process takes about 20 to 25 days. Anybody who tells you otherwise is full of shit, okay? I'll tell you that right now. Why? Because you need to put your deposit. Once you put your deposit, you're gonna get a bill of sale. Once you get your bill of sale, you're gonna go out there and look for financing. Hopefully you're using the link below where you have multiple lenders competing for your business. Now, once you have the financing in place, it's probably gonna take you about four or five days for the approval process and the funding, okay? Five days is very, very fast. I think it's more about six or seven days. But even once the funding has been completed, now you're gonna need to take that truck and you need to apply for plates, okay? Now those plates probably take around five to seven days. But in reality, I mean, my experience in Atlanta, Georgia, it took one truck took me seven days, the other one took me eight days, and I had one that took me nine days to get the plates. Taking all that into account, that's about 20 to 25 days, and I see drivers quitting their job way too early. You should quit your job only when you have that plate on your truck, and that's gonna save you 30 days approximately, all right? So don't quit your job, that's a big mistake that people make. Hopefully you learned something from this video. If you do need my guide, okay, the guide goes into a lot more detail on how to purchase that power unit, guys. I promise you it's going to save you thousands. I'm Ronan, and I'll catch you in my next video.